I've been wanting to make this video quite some time, so I'm finally going to make it. The samp's got a bit of hum, but once you get the music going, there's no problems at all. Okay, so this amp here, I think it's rated 650 amps, or uh, watts. Um, it's a pretty old amp, and uh, I don't know if many of you have noticed this, but uh, a lot of the new stuff is overrated. Like, it'll say it's uh, blah 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 amps. And then you go to power some speakers, and it's not what you expected. So, I i don't know if this for sure, but they've like changed something around with the rating system of watts, with amplifiers, or whatever, you name it. Um, so, this is rated about 650. It's way more powerful than that. My dad has an amp in the basement that's currently broken. We do not have the transistors for it, or MOSFETs, or whatever they are. They're very rare. Um, it's rated 175 watts, and my dad said he, uh, when it was like really new, it's a very old amp. He was powering stage speakers with it, and uh, yeah, if you can power a few thousand watt stage speakers with a 175 watt amp, something's going on. So, uh... These are my controls on the amp itself. I have to change the bass around a lot because my speakers here, which are rated at 700 watts, the cones, you can like feel the heat on the actual cones, but the magnet is from about here to here out of this 10 inch speaker. So the, for 10 inch speakers, these are like very cool um I don't know if you can tell this at first glance but I've repaired it all of the foaming on the side like dry rotted and broke out and stuff so we got a repair kit on eBay for like six bucks and uh, didn't even take the cone off and put paper in it to keep it centered because I didn't really want to rip the paper around it because I've tried similar things in the past but uh, you can see a little bit of glue right there. I mean, it's not the prettiest set of speakers, but they work really good. Wake up. Thank you. Um, this right here is my uh, graphic equalizer. Here's kind of a setup I have. I have it tuned to the resonance of the speakers for the maximum bass output with the minimum input. So, it's definitely a nice graphic equalizer. Once again, the equalizer itself is very, very old. Um, you want to see my beautiful wiring job? Here it is. I know it's beautiful, but you can't really see it. And yeah, this extension cord right here. That outlet you see in there, 
it's so loose that I have to jiggle it for the amp to turn on sometimes. I really need a new socket because that's like dangerous. So let me. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> so I'm only using one channel of the amp. It has two channels for speakers as seen right there. Since I only have one pair in my room, which is plenty. So, right now I have the little plasma ball on audio. You can hear that on the speakers, actually. Ooh la la. Okay, continuing with what I want to show you. I can bypass this equalizer with a simple click with one of these switches. I don't even remember which one. Here we have a radio that has records that can play records. I hardly ever use it. Like, let me switch that. So yeah, all I gotta do is simple click there, but that does, I don't have the radio hooked up to, to the equalizer because I normally use my laptop for music. And I'm surprised I got as many stations as I did since that right there is the antenna, that little shiny stick thing. Okay, so here's the small bit of music I have. I definitely want to get some more, but I'm making progress. But a lot of these are like the full albums. It may not look like much, but uh, it is. So like, let's go to Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Stupid mouse is all messed up. See, look at all those songs in there. And for Bush, of all of these albums. Yeah, you get the point. Um, so I have some pretty odd music in here. A lot of it's techno, pop, rock, that type of stuff. Due to a special request of all of my fans, here's some beautiful music for you. It's just a beautiful work of music. Sorry, I just had to. <laughs> okay, so I have a lot of weird, cool music too. You should hear what my dimmer switch does. So yeah, you can hear a bit of distortion in there. That's what I call bass though. Okay, what I'm about to show you now is uh, the demonstration of how this can really produce low frequencies. Um, the song I'm going to be showing you is Remix to a Remix by Ronald Junkies. I think it's about the most pimped song from him. Yeah. I'm Almost positive, most of you have never heard of his music. But uh, SP Films uses his music here and there. A lot of his old videos did. So uh, I figured why not I get the music. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, it doesn't really, you cannot hear. Oh my, what a pleasant sound. Okay, you cannot hear the bass on like hardly any speakers. My headphones can't do it, and I mean they're pretty big headphones too. You can't even hear the low frequency. Okay, the bass is gone right now. See, you can't even hear the low frequency. That's my point. Okay. So, now let's show you it with my amplifier. You'll probably hear a bit of distortion in my, in my camera, and I don't even have the bass turned up there. Hopefully I won't cook my speakers more than they already are. Yeah, no, back to the beginning of the song. There's a lot of 30 and 60 hertz in this. It's a very low frequency bass. See, there you go. I don't even think this speaker's clipping. I just discovered something. Like, when I push down on this to a certain point, you'll hear a click. That's not right. I have no clue what that is. I don't know if I want to either. So, it's not even really bottoming out, really. I can't tell if it even bottoms out at this point, but at this point, it'd probably be cooked. This is a little bit too hard for these type of speakers, but it limits the clipping, and since the magnet's big, that limits the heating. So, they kind of work together in their own ways. Yay for techno. Jesus, look at all that. Just dust. Dust and more dust. That's all I get to breathe is dust from the frickin' dirt road. Look at that. Come on, darn camera. Focus. There we go. Gotta put an object in front of it besides my head. It doesn't like me. I guess this music is a reward for my outstanding performance on YouTube. Look at that. 119 subscribers. Uh, I think six days ago I had 96 subscribers, so I'm like really rocking along here. And check out my friends, 570. Just a few days ago, I passed the 500 mark. So thank you for all of your support on YouTube. I encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, this is just really nice. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on, wait for it. Now for the boring time of editing. The funnest part of it all. Trek XPC. Definitely great editing program. And no, I do not feel like editing this at this exact second. Thank you, have a nice day. Look at all of these pictures I have. Goodness gracious. Just pop my SD card in. Oh, wait, wrong SD card. I'm using the one that I'm recording on right now. It's the one I need. So, see ya.